In this episode of Cloud Performance Atlas, I help some cloudy file servers clear their performance thoughts. Will they see clearly once the fog is gone? Stay tuned to find out. Nimbus Disk is a cloud-based file system company who was having some trouble with their persistent disk performance. Uh, they tried all the usual suggestions, like uh, analyzing disk size and CPU count, but still weren't seeing the performance they wanted. And while digging around for other things they might be able to try, I actually stumbled into uh, this little gem. It says, the default block size on volumes is 4K. For throughput-oriented workloads, values of 256K are recommended. Now, unbeknownst to me, this single sentence was exactly what was causing the Nimbus disk woes. So generally speaking, when it comes to disk operations, a block is the smallest unit of data that is read during an IO operation. So if you're trying to read five bytes and your block size is 512 bytes, the entire 512 bytes will be read from disk, even though your application will only use five bytes from it. So with this in mind, it's important to observe the following formula with respect to disk performance. Now, how the this evens out is that the IOPS and the block size tend to have an inverse relationship to each other. As block size increases, it takes longer to read a single block and thus the number of IOPS decreases. Uh, inversely, small block size yields higher IOPS. To figure out how GCP's persistent disks behave as the block size changed, I set up a simple 32 core machine with a one terabyte standard persistent disk attached to it and tested the performance against block sizes. Uh, what we see, expectedly, is that the as the window size grows, our IOPS get lower and our throughput gets higher. Likewise, we can do the same test for an SSD persistent disks, uh, and we see a similar reduction in IOPS as block size increases. But uh, by the way, the, that hard cap you see for throughput at 16K window size is actually a function of the testing config I was using. Uh, by increasing our PDSSD side or moving to 64 cores, we should be able to remove that limit. Yeah. Now, here's the important part. By default, GCP's persistent disks use a block size of 4K, which is perfect for higher IOPS workloads, like uh, relational databases. Nimbus disk, however, was much more concerned with throughput, which meant they wanted to be on the other side of the block size window. With a simple config change to move to a one megabyte block size, their perf increased about 30X. <laughs> Not bad for a simple command line flag. If you'd like to know more about this problem, check out the article listed in the description below. And don't forget to check out the rest of the Cloud Performance Atlas content, because when it comes to performance, every millisecond counts.